Hi Molly, how are you? You know what my favorite animal on the homestead is? It's the chickens. I love the chickens. I love when they peck at the ground and how much of a purpose they serve and how they can just be one of your first animals on the homestead and they can play such an important role on your homestead. But you know what my second is? It's the cows. They eat down all of this grass. They poop gold for the pastures. And the chickens are also able to sift through that, so that gives them a job and weeds down their feed though. So today that's what we're gonna be talking about and that's what this vlog is focused on, the cattle. So before we do anything, we gotta move into a different pasture. Check out how much work they did in here. This is not on, but you can see it almost looks like it was mowed in there. So this is what it looked like. All this beautiful lush grass. But this is what it looks like now. It's crazy to see how far it goes in just two or three days. The first thing before we move any cows, we gotta move these Cornish crosses. Well, that's that done. All right, Moose, what do you think? You about ready to be moved? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the line up for these cows. Before we can move them, there's gotta be a line so that they know where they need to graze for today. Pick these up out of here. Looks like the chickies need their water filled and their feed filled. Well, let's get these cows moved real quick. All right, Moo Crew, you ready guys to be moved? You guys ready? You ready? Go ahead, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Go, go, go. Push. Go ahead. Now that is the Moo Crew moved. What do you think? You happy? I think you are. I'll be setting my phone up because I want to carry the GoPro around with me so we can do the chores for the morning. Well, we'll see that here in a few minutes. The next thing we need to do is go get the hose because this water needs filled up and we also are gonna need more water for the cows. But before we do that, we need to go let the chickens out because I want to get the bigger water for the crosses because they seem to be drinking it. Oh my goodness, there's another Cornish cross out. We'll get that guy in a minute. Let's go get this water. So how many chickens decided to risk their life and sleep outside last night? Two? Looks like two. Hold on. There's water we want, and it's even out of water too. Wow, they must have finished this uh, this morning. Guys, I'm gonna get you guys a different water, and um, 
I'll be back with food for you guys too. Should I have water? Still recording. Happy cows. Now we need to go up here and grab this hose. We will turn this hose on. Hi, buddy. Looks like our camera's still recording down there. Looks like the cows are still there. Hi, buddy. How are you? Oh, yeah. I knew it. So there's corn cross feed. And there's chicken feed. That is one of our rebel chickens. She escaped and doesn't want to live in the coop out there. She wants to live up here with her boyfriend. Check this out, we now have pigs in here, along with ducks. Hi, Sadie. Because there's this opening. But I have been getting an egg from this hen. Hey. Look at that. They're warm, too. Awesome. They're from her right, right there. Look at that, that's three eggs today so far. Hi, Odie. Here's these, these will go in the house in a little bit, but we'll leave them here for now. I wonder what the cows are up to. Okay, we're back down here. <clears throat> Seems like this is still recording, which is good. keeps turning these hoses off so it won't fill up. Okay. Well, that stinks. So here's what we're gonna go do. We have to go turn this hose back on. Yes, that is, oh wait, yeah, it is this hose. That is the third time it's been turned off this morning. There, now it's filling up again. My family is just way too vigilant about keeping the hoses off. All right, well, we can do this real quick. There's the feet. Well, there's those filled up. Look guys, there's two feeders. Look, go, go, go get some from the other feeder. But I figured out where our crosses are getting out at. So as you can see, this is all stapled to the bottom. But you can see here. And then here, it, for some reason, just came off. Aww. There's a crowd. Everybody loves me. Honestly, all they love is food. There you go, chickies. This bird looks like it could have laid an egg. But I'm wrong. Do you want to lay an egg? I think you're backwards. So we need to fill up this water, but to fill up this water, we need to water them up there, which means we need to go get food for them. So we're going to go feed them up there. I think we're gonna keep this water here. If it's too cool, then when I go to move them here in a couple days, I have to dump it all out and make the ground super wet. So we'll probably go turn it off here in a minute. The cows are amazing though, for all they do for our pastures, where they poop and that, that's just gold for these pastures because it helps fertilize the pastures and then they eat that grass and when they eat it, it helps it come back stronger and they weed out all these weeds and they, they just do so much good for our pastures. And that's why they're one of my favorite farm animals. Sadie, you'll always be in the top five though. Now Sadie can't come out for the next couple days because she ripped her e-collar. She uh, had it on one day and she was scratching at her ear 
and was able to get it off and ripped off uh, part of like the loop. So I can't put it on her right now and I gotta order her a new one. So until I, so until I get that, she cannot come out. Don't ask me how this happened and Maybe someone can correct me down in the comments, but I'm not sure what kind of plant this is. It looks like maybe a cucumber. I'm, I'm not sure. And then this, I know what this is. Who else does? This is corn. It's voluntary corn coming up. You can see the rest is just grass. Oh, there, yeah, there's another, if it's cucumber, there's another cucumber plant. So I found these the other day while I was trimming up this. You can see I didn't really trim them. I wanted to see how far they go. My guess is maybe they had cucumbers on them, maybe, and uh, I think they ate them, maybe, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Well, there we go. This hose is now turned off. We'll pull that out of there. They just keep getting out. <laughs> oh, well, there's piglets over here now, too. Next spot, the uh, cows will come into. You can see it's pretty much just as lush as this one. They start to get not as good because basically all the water that comes off the hill comes down through these pastures. Up uh, until that tree, it's all nice and lush up through here and then it just starts to get drier down through there. We're still working on getting it a little wetter, a little bit more moisture down there. But we are going through a drought right now. We haven't had a solid good rain in about a week, week or so now. And around here, that's not good. Hello, guy. But that's the vlog for today, all about my, one of my favorite farm animals. And maybe if this, maybe if this video does good, I'll do another one about my favorite farm animal, which is the chickens. So if you guys like this, I can do another one. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see another one. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Bye.